my Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Let me take this moment to say thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. And as I always say, thank you for your prayers. Praise be to his holy name. We are still in um, the week, um, the Feast of Tabernacle, which is, is called Sokot. And for those of you who don't know that what that is, is a time when during the wilderness um, period with our ancestors as they came out of Egypt and they were in the wilderness for 40 years, um, they were told to set up little booths. And these little booths, they would go in and would have a meal. Now this use, they use branches palm branches or olive branches and things they would make little make you know temporary huts and they would go in the sit in there and have the meal and just give praise to Yahuwah. Um, it was something that continues in Israel's life for many many years until they were taken into captivity um, into um, Assyria and Babylon. So, so um, you know, we thank you for that. Yes, place it in our hearts where, you know, we can think of that and we can remember. You know, we can remember. Praise His holy name. Praise His name. So, in the last time, in the last session, rather, we were in um, in 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 Psalm thirty-one and verse fourteen. Um, and we stopped. A matter of fact, we stop at verse 15. We finish verse 15, where we said, um, you know, the David was saying, My times are in, you know, Yahuwah's hand. And asked Yahuwah to deliver him from his enemies and from them that um, persecuted him. So we want to we want to continue. Um, in verse 16, um, he said, Make thy face to shine upon me and upon thy servant. Make thy face. Remember, my brothers and my sisters, this is awesome. This is awesome. Commitment to Yahweh. Okay? We are committing to him. Committed to him. And here, in the midst of David's trouble, anxiety, you know, of all of the stuff that is going through, his enemies always around him. He said here, make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Uh, the, the word servant here um, has a connotation of a slave, but not the slave in the sense of what our ancestors going through as being slaves. We are servant of Yahuwah. I'd I rather be a servant and, and a slave for Yahuwah than for the Europeans or anybody else. Okay? Like they had us in slavery and our ancestors in slavery. I say us because our ancestors and mean us too. Okay? That um, if we if we pay attention to what happened, all the strikes, all the evil that they did to them, we are the offspring. It's done to us too. So we got to, you know, he said, make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Praise be to his holy name. Make thy face face to shine upon thy upon thy servant. Um, so the servant here then is, is um, slave or servant or you know band servant that best that's what the connotation is you know in the, in the definition of the word. But you I want you to understand that don't associate this kind of servant or slave to what happened to our ancestors has nothing to do with that. We're talking about Yahuwah we being his servant. In other words, we are his mouthpiece. 
where his hands and his feet and his eyes and you know we see through these eyes for him you know he gives us that opportunity to help to bring people into a relationship with him so we are indeed his messenger okay that's what the word he also means messenger servant okay in verse 17 in verse 17 he said let thy I mean rather than let me not be ashamed O Yahuwah let me not be ashamed O Yahuwah why for I call upon thee let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave so we see here that Yahuwah is in charge of everything. And, and so this is why David is able to ask him to go to him. David is not in charge of nothing. My brothers and sisters, don't let pride fill your heart and think you're in charge of anything. What we're in charge of is what Yahuwah gives us the opportunity to be in charge. Okay? To guard our hearts. That's what we are to make sure that our hearts are right in His presence, that we don't have any evil thinking and evil anything like that in us. But we are indeed trusting Him to the point where we allow Him to use us to His honor and to His glory. So then, my brothers and sisters, this is what he said here. He said, let me not be ashamed. You, you, my brothers and sisters, many times we become ashamed of things that we do. And when we, when we do something that is the opposite of what Yahweh wants us to do. Means we do something evil or degrading. It cannot promote our cause to Yahweh. It's when we are living our lives, you know, to fit the pattern that he has set for us. That's the time, my brothers and sisters, that's the time we can glorify him and make him known to those who do not know him. So then, my brothers and sisters, here he said, Let me not be ashamed, O Yahuwah, for I have called upon thee. So don't go running, calling upon your friends and your loved ones before you call to Yahweh. You call upon Yahweh. You tell him all your needs. And when he sees your needs, when he sees your needs, my brother Moses, not your wants, not my wants. And so we, 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 we call upon him. And then what happened? Whatever resources that we're looking for, Yahoo then prepare the hearts and mind of other believers, others of his servant, to release what we're asking Yahuwah for. There's, there's a man have some some faith thing he has going, but he has a lot of people responding to him. Uh, 20, 20, he said, what is it called? 20, 20 statements. And he, he claimed that he get it from a Hebrew scripture. But he won't tell anybody where, he, where he get, what Hebrew scripture he get it from. Right? 
So he's using it now and he's sending it out and he say, the rich people, I'm not going to call name, but you know all these rich, um, these millionaires and these sus, what would we refer to them as financially successful people, radio personalities, TV personalities, say so they have the same statement and they're rich. So I said, you know what? I would like to see the verse that he's talking about. But he's saying that in this Bible. So I don't know if it's in the, what, in the idea of pack of, pack, a pack of all ex, extracurricular scriptures that are not in this present Hebrew Bible. But he says in the Hebrew Bible, but it's not on this, in this one. So nobody's not going to find it. <laughs> then we tell you, let me ask you a question, my brothers. Yeah, if it's real. And he should just have this statement. But he has a whole lot of other things that he put along with it. So you're going to go through stage one, two, you know what I'm saying? He's going to give you a whole lot of different stuff to do. And then he's he going to have a, um, a, a statement that said, um, like, you know, take any responsibility for it because if, if everybody, it may not happen to everybody the same way. All of the rich people, have the riches differently. They don't have it the same way. So a person with a simple mind and a person who's running to get rich quick. Okay, man, I would love to have some money because I can do a lot of things with money. Helping people. I know a lot of people listening to me right now need help. And if you hope they ever put that kind of money on me, my brothers and sisters, I'll be building orphanages. I'll be helping to take care of people, especially the seniors who need help. Praise be to his holy name. But let me say this, my brothers and sisters. Let us not put our trust in what man do, does. Let us put our trust in Yahweh. And he said, let me not be ashamed because we're calling upon him. And when, when we call upon him out of a true heart, my brother and my sisters, Yahuwah has a way of making things right, making things good for us. You see, I call upon thee. The, the word call upon thee there it is, um, is, is the word kara, 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 Hebrew words. And, 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 and my brother and my sisters, what is saying there? The word kara is kaf, resh, and aleph. And what is saying there, my brothers and sisters, is to call, is to proclaim, is to read. Praise his holy name. Is that we are we are bidden? Invite and inv send all the invitation. Yahuwah invites us to come to him. And we're inviting people to come to Yahuwah. Call upon him. Call, to call forth. To call unto him to be famous in our cry, my brothers and sisters. Primitive root identical call through the idea of accosting a person's name. In, in, in order to call out properly addressed by name, we call. This is what he said. I he said, I call unto you, Yahuwah. Call him by name. Praise his holy name. We're calling unto him. We're crying unto him. We're mentioning his name, my brother. And sisters. We're preaching. We are proclaiming. We are pronouncing. We are publishing. Praise his holy name. He said, We are to call. He said, Let me not be ashamed, O Yahuwah, for I call upon thee. And he said, Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the wicked, Rasha, wicked, <laughs> wicked ones, criminals. Yeah, Rasha. It, it, it is Resh, um, Shin, and, and Ayin. And is, is, of course, it has the, the um, 
Bowen's notations. But he said Rasha. And my brothers and sisters, and is it, when you see a wicked person, you know, just, just say Rasha. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man. I said, Rasha, what's that? You know, it, said, it means wicked, man. Wicked. That's wicked. Uh, you know, like we, we have we have a lot of that going on around us, you know. You know. Every day you hear different different things, the news and and different, you know, people. <laughs> the wicked people you could, you could see them, they they're going training people and wicked. You know, and and then my brother and my sisters this is this the, the Gentiles life wickedness and guess what a lot of our Hebrew Israelite people those who have not been awakened have been caught up with this kind of lifestyle following them but they are Rasha they are criminals you know criminals many of them are being charged Wicked, you know. A, a, lot, a lot of a lot of people get their riches from being wicked too, hurting other people to get it. He said, "He said, he said, um, those kind of riches not gonna satisfy people who get gain from hurting other people to get it." Ill treating other people to get it, it won't work. So when you you pray that if you are going to put some money in your hand, you know, that you going to use it to his and unto his glory, and you're not going to use it to go and, and take advantage of other people. Okay, this is what this is what I'm, they they do. They they take advantage of other people. And yeah, what does not want us to do that? Praise his holy name. Praise his name. So then he's a wicked, he's criminal. He's, he's guilty, he's condemned. You know, he's a wicked man. He's a person that did wrong. You know, morally wrong. Concretely, but he's a bad person. He's condemned, he's guilty, ungodly. He's a wicked. They continue to do wrong. Wicked people. And he said, let them, those wicked people, be ashamed. Let them be ashamed. And let them be silent in the grave. In other words, let them die. Sheol. Place up to which the dead descend. Um, you know, it's, it's sometimes we refer to it as the underworld, a place which people descend at death. You know, sometimes it's sure, sometimes it's Hades. The word, sure, Shin, Aleph, Bav, and Lamed. And the word here, my brothers and sisters, mean the place where the dead descend. Um, you know, Hades are the world of the dead. Uh, including its accessories and its inmates. Inmates are the people that it holds. <laughs> the grave, the hell, or the pit. It's referred to. And, and in verse 18, my brothers and sisters, he said, Let the lying, he said, let the lying lips be put to silence. Let the lying lips be put to silence. We're going to come back to this because we're not going to have enough time to go through the 20 minutes. Okay, it's going to take us way over, so we're going to stop here and, and then we'll come back to it. My, my, my brothers, my sisters, we're going to ask you in the meantime to be a blessing to someone. You know, please be a blessing to someone today. And walk with the king. Shalom.